Mosquitoes are the most dangerous predator in the world, killing hundreds of thousands of people per year. But what makes the mosquito such an effective killer? In this video, we will uncover the secrets of how the mosquito's distinct anatomy enables it to suck your blood without you ever noticing. Additionally, we will explore how mosquitoes select their victims, and we will discuss the serious and sometimes deadly diseases that mosquitoes carry. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave us a comment. We would love to hear about your experiences with mosquitoes, including any preventative measures that have worked for you and how you avoid being bitten. Mosquitoes are found on every continent except Antarctica, and they thrive in various habitats ranging from wetlands to urban areas. Estimates of the total number of mosquitoes in the world can vary widely, but it's generally accepted that there are billions to trillions of mosquitoes globally. Some estimates suggest that there could be around 3,000 to 3,500 species of mosquitoes worldwide. The lifespan of a mosquito can vary based on factors such as species, environmental conditions, and gender. On average, male mosquitoes live for about one to two weeks. The male's primary purpose is to mate with females. Female mosquitoes, on the other hand, live longer, ranging from a few weeks to a few months, depending on the species and environmental conditions. It's important to note that only female mosquitoes feed on blood, as they require the nutrients for egg development. Male mosquitoes primarily feed on nectar and plant juices. Mosquitoes use a combination of sensory cues to select their victims. They are attracted to carbon dioxide, body heat, body odors, and certain chemicals emitted by the skin. These cues help mosquitoes locate potential hosts from a distance. Dark-colored clothing can also make individuals more visible to mosquitoes as they contrast against the surrounding environment. The mosquito's body has several specialized structures which allow it to stealthily feed on its victim's blood. The proboscis is the main feeding apparatus of a mosquito, resembling a long, slender tube that extends from the front of its head. This tubular structure is composed of various components that work in harmony to achieve the mosquito's feeding objectives. Within the proboscis, there are six thin, needle-like structures called stylets. These stylets are divided into pairs, each with a distinct function during feeding. The first pair, known as mandibles and maxillae, function as a sheath to protect the other stylets as they pierce the skin. The second pair consists of the labrum, which serves as a bridge to help guide the other stylets into the skin. The final pair is the labium, which surrounds and encases the other stylets. It functions as a protective covering for the delicate stylets during feeding. Upon landing on its victim's skin, the mosquito uses specialized sensors located at the tip of its proboscis to locate a suitable blood vessel. These sensors can detect changes in temperature, detect vibrations caused by blood flow, and even sense chemicals released by the blood vessels themselves. Once a blood vessel is located, the mosquito's proboscis is inserted into the skin and the blood feeding process begins. The mosquito's saliva is injected into the victim's skin during feeding. The saliva contains anticoagulant proteins that prevent the victim's blood from clotting. Meanwhile, the mosquito draws blood into its digestive system for nourishment, visibly engorging itself with blood. The entire feeding process only takes a few minutes and typically goes unnoticed by the victim. On average, a female mosquito will ingest about two to five milligrams of blood during a single feeding. This can be more than two times the body weight of the mosquito. After feeding, the mosquito withdraws its proboscis from the host's skin. It then quickly flies away to digest the blood meal. Once it has laid its eggs, the female mosquito will seek another blood meal in order to continue the reproductive cycle. In addition to being annoying, mosquitoes pose a significant danger due to their capacity to transmit diseases to both humans and animals. They serve as vectors for various pathogens, viruses, bacteria, and parasites, which can result in a spectrum of illnesses. Notable diseases carried by mosquitoes include malaria, dengue fever, Zika virus, yellow fever, West Nile virus, and Japanese encephalitis. Preventing mosquitoes requires a comprehensive approach involving personal protection, environmental management, and careful insecticide use. Effective tactics include eliminating breeding sites, using insect repellents, wearing protective clothing, screening windows, reducing outdoor lighting, and addressing standing water. While complete elimination is challenging, employing a range of strategies is the most effective way to reduce mosquito populations and associated risks. 
If you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.